Welcome to the fourth video of the series NVMet Unfolded, a complete guide to the NVMet software. In the last video, we talked about walls in NVMet and all of the parameters that define them. We also created a wall we can use in our model area. In this video, we will cover soils and profiles. We will start with the database manager open and our project selected. If we click on system soils, we can see a variety of soils that come standard with MVMET. In MVMET, there are three main types of soils. Natural soils, artificial soils, and water. Natural soils, like loam, allow water to permeate the soil, while artificial soils, like asphalt, are considered sealed surfaces, and therefore do not allow water to permeate the soil. Water is its own category, and can be used to model ponds or lakes in our model area. Heat can be stored within this, but water transfer does not take place. If we click on a soil, we can see a variety of parameters that define each soil, just like we had before with materials. Water content at saturation refers to the maximum amount of water a given volume of substance can hold. For example, if we had a container of soil, the water content at saturation would be the point where the soil is holding the maximum amount of water, and any more water added would result in the water not being absorbed by the soil, but instead would make the soil float. Water content at field capacity refers to how much water is contained within the substance at the point where the gravitational forces overcome the adhesive forces of the substance. For example, if we had a container of soil with holes at the bottom, water content at field capacity would be reached when the first drop of water leaves the container out of one of the holes at the bottom. Water content at wilting point is reached when the soil water drops below the amount that plants can access it. This means the adhesive forces in the soil are greater than any extracting force exerted by the plant. Matrix potential refers to the force with which water is held by the soil matrix. The soil matrix includes soil particles and the pore space of the soil. Hydraulic conductivity refers to how well water can move through a substance. Volumetric heat capacity is the amount of heat that needs to be supplied to one unit of a substance in order for the temperature of that substance to change by one unit. The Clappen-Hornberger constant is a constant in the Clappen-Hornberger equation that is used to calculate the heat conductivity of natural soils. And finally, heat conductivity, otherwise known as thermal conductivity, that we covered in the materials video, refers to a material's ability to transfer heat through itself. This value is initially zero for natural soils, as this parameter is calculated by the moisture or water content of the soil. We can create our own soil from scratch in the same way we made our own material, by either clicking on our project database folder and clicking this small button here, or we can copy an existing soil and modify it. Now that we understand soils, Let's move on to profiles, which operate in a similar way as walls do. If we click on the Profiles tab and look at System Profiles, we can see a variety of soil profiles that are included with MVMET. If we click on Loamy Soil, for example, we can see the parameters that define the soil profile, like roughness length, albedo, emissivity, and if the surface is irrigated or not. Roughness length is the same parameter that we had with walls and refers to the roughness of the material. It describes the height in meters above a surface that the average wind speed is zero. Albedo refers to the percentage of shortwave radiation that is reflected off the surface. For sealed surfaces, this value is taken from the database. The albedo of natural surfaces, however, is calculated on the fly as it depends strongly on the water content of the soil. Emissivity is also a parameter we are familiar with and refers to a material's effectiveness in emitting energy as long-wave thermal radiation. The closer the material's emissivity value is to 1, the easier the material cools itself by emitting heat energy. Surfaces irrigated is a true or false value that refers to if the ground is consistently watered or irrigated artificially. The additional values only count for water bodies and can be ignored for our purposes. If we double click on a profile, a new Edit Profile tab opens and we can see how soil profiles are presented in MVMET. Looking at the profile asphalt road, for example, we can see that each soil profile is made up of 19 layers of soil at different depths. 
The asphalt road presented here contains the artificial soil asphalt with basalt in the upper 30 cm, followed by sandy loam below that. Each profile allows for higher resolution soil layers close to the surface, with layer thicknesses of 1 cm, as most soil-atmosphere interactions take place here. Under the upper layers, the resolution lowers progressively, as these depths are not as influential. The thickness of each layer is rigid, and custom layer thicknesses are not possible. If we want to create our own soil profile, we can proceed in the same way as we created a wall in the last video. As an example, let's create our own profile from scratch, just to show the process. For the purpose of this example, we will disregard changing any parameter values. However, we can of course change them by clicking on the three dots next to each parameter. If we double click on our new profile, we can see a blank version of the profile structure we saw before. Just like we did when constructing walls, we can find the soil from our database and drag it into one of the layers within our profile. Dragging a soil into a specific layer will fill all blank layers underneath. Once we have made our new soil profile, we can save it in our project folder. If you would like to know more about the database manager, please check out our Getting Started series here on YouTube. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one, where we will cover the next feature of the urban environment, simple vegetation.